What am I doing here? This is my room. No, I don't think so. This room belongs to Eddie Johnny. Eddie Johnny. Room 18? This is room 8. Oh. I'm sorry, I was supposed to check to see if 18 needed oh, towels. Wait, wait a minute. It's Rex, isn't it? Friend of Clint Buchanan's. Uh, believe me, I'm no friend of Clint Buchanan's. So you work here? My mom owns the place. Sometimes I help her. You're Roxy's kid? Huh. Strange. I don't see the resemblance. Roxy is not my biological mom. Maybe I look more like my dad. Well, I, I, I wouldn't know since I never met my father. Well, I'm sure there's a very interesting story there, but seeing as this is my room and I am extremely tired. Great. I guess I'll see you around, maybe. found out that Echo got a speeding ticket here in Landview less than a year after she slithered out of town. So? So, when she left, she promised never to return. And what's more, she just today told Dorian that she never did come back. So, obviously, she's lying. Or maybe she forgot. Oh. Or maybe she was just passing through on her way to someplace else. I'm, I'm, you know, from what I understood of the way people felt about her when she left town, I would think that maybe she would want to race through town if she came here. Sweetheart, that's not the point. Uh, look, I know you don't trust her. <laughs> yeah. And you have good reason. All I'm saying is that maybe you're looking for answers where there aren't even any questions. You really think that I'm making too much of this? Okay. Let's say that she did come through Landview one more time. Obviously, she didn't do anything that caused any trouble. Gigi, I'm glad you're still here. Me too. What's up? Check this out. Oh, that is so sweet of you to dig this up, but I'm, I'm doing just fine going off my memory. Huh? Oh, wait a second. When did you take this? Like five minutes ago in Echo DC Voice Hotel Room. Oh, wow. It looks just like the other half. Yeah, a one-of-a-kind necklace that was handmade in New Mexico. And if my mom, Lily, left her half the necklace with me at the hospital after I was born... Then maybe this half belonged to your father. Any news about Star? Okay, I see your point. If Echo had pulled something, we would all have heard about it. Exactly. But you have to understand, sweetheart, I am not alone in my feelings about Echo. Even Dorian agrees with me. Oh, and that is your measure of sound judgment. Charlie, Echo tried to capitalize just now on Dorian's grief and her fear about those two missing girls by taking exploitive photographs. Okay, maybe that was in bad taste, but she is a photographer. She takes pictures for a living. I know that. That is how she wormed her way into Clint's life and ended up sleeping with okay, him. Okay, but I am not Clint, and I am never, ever going to sleep with her. Darling, I'm also not as naive as I was way back then. And who is? Which is why I'm saying you should stop getting so wound up about Echo. All of your problems with her happened a long time ago. Echoes have a way of repeating themselves. It's definitely possible that Echo knew my father. Maybe she still does. He is alive, as far as we know. So maybe he gave her his half of the necklace. Of course, on the other hand, from everything Vicky's told me... Mm, that's true. She could have seen it, and liked it, and pocketed it. That's why I didn't ask Echo about the necklace outright. I doubt that I would get a straight answer from her. But I might get one out of somebody else.
don't know about you, but I really don't want to go to bed talking about a person in our past who doesn't even matter anymore. Well, I don't want to either. Doug. Okay, so what do you say that we uh, go upstairs and find some other way to end the evening? Back to New Mexico. I'm gonna show Echo's picture around, see if anybody recognizes her. With any luck, I'll find out how she got her hands on that half of the necklace. Just be careful. I'll be fine. But I worry about you getting your hopes up. You don't know how long she's had this necklace, or even if. Don't is worry the... about it. Look, if I come up empty, I'll just go get the half that we left on Lily's grave. That way I can show it to Echo and get the answer straight from her. Maybe you'll end up finding your father after all. I'm sure you and Layla will be fine. I mean, what's an ocean when two people love each other, right? Not much more than a whole country. But you two are completely different than me and Langston. Speaking of Langston, she's supposed to call me if there's any news about Star. I guess they don't know anything more than they did before. What'd you find out? 